Greetings, I'm Professor K, and in this short video presentation, we're going to take a look at how we go about finding social media accounts on the internet using Sherlock. Sherlock is an open source intelligence gathering tool that is used to locate social media accounts based on a person's specific logon name on the internet or username. For this lab, you'll need one virtual install of CSI Linux, or you can use one virtual install of Kali Linux and an internet connection. Now if you want to use Kali Linux, the instructions for installing Sherlock onto Kali Linux are located in the lab file. To start the lab we can open up a terminal and we can do it one of two ways. We can go down here to the quick launch in the taskbar or we can go up here to the application launcher, click on that and scroll on down until we come to terminal emulator. Now the first thing we have to do is get inside of the directory for Sherlock, which is located up inside of the OPT directory. So to do this, we're just going to go to our prompt. We're going to type in cd space forward slash OPT forward slash Sherlock. When we have that done, go ahead and hit enter. And our prompt changes to let us know that we are now inside of the Sherlock directory. Now to see what files are actually available to us inside of this directory, we can type in ls and hit enter. Now you notice that there is another Sherlock directory inside of the Sherlock directory. So we're going to type in cd space Sherlock. Hit enter. Now you'll notice that we have forward slash opt forward slash Sherlock forward slash Sherlock. Now again let's type in ls and we'll see what's in this directory. And so the file that we're interested in here is the Sherlock.py file. It's a Python file. So to launch a Python file, we have to type in Python, in this case Python 3, because that is what Sherlock is built with. So we're typed in Python 3 space Sherlock.py, and we're going to look at the help menu. And to do that, we're going to use the dash H switch at the end of it. Hit enter. As you can see, there's a lot of interesting options that come with this program. One of those interesting options is Tor. So if you want to remain anonymous and not expose yourself to anyone who might be wondering who might be looking at them, then you can use a dash T option. This program works best if you have the user's actual username that they most commonly use while they're on the internet. Now if you don't know that, then you can start to guess the different combinations that might be possible, such as first initial last name, their first name, their last name, their last name, their first initial, or any combination thereof. But again, if we have the username of the individual we're looking at, it makes it much easier. Now in this example, I got a username Dead Cow. That's his username on the internet. So I'm going to be searching for any user account for any social media site that has this individual registered or any registered user using the username of dead cow and I want that information I want it printed to a text file so that I can look at it later additionally we're also looking just for those where the username was found I'm going to go ahead and hit enter give it a second and you'll see that the username dead cow is pretty common and that it is quite prevalent on the internet so I'm going to change my screen resolution just so you can see a little better of what's going on here. So once the scan is all done, we know that we have a text file waiting for us with all of the information about the social media accounts that the user dead cow is currently signed on as a user. So to see this text file, we just have to type in ls at the prompt, hit enter, and now you'll see that we have this text file called deadcow.txt. Now to see the contents, we just have to cat that out. So I'm going to type in cat, and then I'm just going to copy and paste the name of the file that we want to view inside of the terminal. Now our text file shows us that there are 121 social media accounts that has a user known as dead cow. And you can go through this file here one at a time, and each one of these links is clickable. That is to say, it will take you right out to the internet. So you can go through here and you can start weeding out what sites are the correct sites that you need to be concerned with and which ones aren't, such as uh, Google+. 
If you find a Google Plus account, well, you know that's not any good anymore. So you can rule that one out. And there's going to be a lot of other accounts in here that are no longer viable. But you're going to have to go through here and determine which accounts are good and which accounts do not belong to someone that we're looking for named Dead Cow. And so once we do locate the social media accounts that our user, the one that we're looking for, who uses the logon name or the username of Dead Cow, then we can start drilling into these sites, gathering more information about this user. One of the most prolific child molesters in the UK's history was located using this very method. The Australian National Police located the member on a child pornography site, noticed that he had a very large number of logins, and began to investigate him. When they went to the internet, they didn't have much to look for except his username. But he had a very unique greeting on every post. It was Haya. So they began to look for user accounts with the individual's login, and then they began to look for that little piece of information they discovered, that unique greeting of Haya. And they were able to locate a social media site that was used by car enthusiasts. And he had posted a picture of his car showing the front license plate. And that's how they were able to locate it. And that's going to conclude this short video presentation on how we go about using Sherlock to locate the social media accounts of an individual based on that person's username. Got questions? got any concerns, don't hesitate to reach out, contact your instructor, and I'll see you in my next video.